Hi, welcome back. Today I want to show you how to crochet this braided headband. This is for a child. I will go forward very slowly and explain everything I'm doing so everyone can follow. And this is a great project if you're a beginner because it works up very fast and it doesn't take up a lot of yarn. So let's begin. First, I want to talk a little bit about the materials I've used. I've used this alpaca yarn. I really like alpaca because it keeps warm but still allows the skin to breathe and then it's really soft to touch. Then you'll need a cutting board or something else that's flat. Then I've used two pins, a four millimeter crochet hook, some scissors, and finally a tapestry needle to weave in the ends and sew the headband together. We begin with a slip knot. So make a loop with your yarn and take the long end of the yarn behind the loop, then grab it from the middle with your hook and pull. Then we create a chain. So yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over, pull through. So now you made three chains. We will need to make 97 chains in total. This is the foundation and these chains we will be working in from the next row. So just keep yarning over, pulling through until you have 97 of these chains. When we have 97 chains, we will begin working in these chains. We skip the first two and then we'll be working from the third one. So this one is your third and we will start with a double crochet. So we yarn over the needle and then we count one, two, three. Insert your hook in the third one, then yarn over, pull through, yarn over, then pull through two loops and then yarn over and pull through the final two loops. This is a double crochet. We will do another double crochet in the next chain. So again, yarn over and then insert your hook in the next chain. And you have three loops on your hook. You yarn over and pull through the first one yarn over, pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. Again, a double crochet in the next one. So begin with a yarn over, then insert the hook in the next chain, yarn over, pull through one, yarn over, Pull through two, and yarn over, pull through two. So now you have three double crochet. We will do one double crochet in every chain all the way across. So just yarn over, insert your hook in the next chain, yarn over and pull through, yarn over, pull through two and then yarn over and pull through two all the way across. When you're all the way across you have a string looking like this and you'll now cut the yarn. We need to leave a long tail for this one. Then we pull the yarn through And you have this short end from the beginning and you have this long end. We keep the long end and this one you weave in. So take your, crabs, your tapestry needle, sorry, 
don't take your crap needle and then weave in your end on the back side of your string like this For all my alpaca yarn projects, I only use this yarn from Gorgeous Alpacas. They're a small alpaca farm located in England, and they produce the most amazing blends I've ever tried. I really love everything about it, but especially the smell. Alpaca is so great because it's stronger than mohair and finer than cashmere, and then it's smoother than silk but softer than cotton, and then it's more breathable than thermal knits. If you're planning a project with alpaca yarn, I definitely recommend checking out Gorgeous Alpacas. Then we have the first one with this long tail. Then you make another four, so you have five straps in total. And on these straps you weave in all ends, so you don't have any tails hanging. Then you grab your tapestry needle again and thread the needle with the one you had on the first one. And then you'll make an, a light seam on top just to connect these. So just put in your needle in and out of all five strings, just like this. Just to put them together. This will make the braiding part much easier then just pull it through but not too tight just like this then you find your cutting board or whatever you had and you pin it down Like this and then we'll begin braiding so first you take the second string and leave lead it over the third one then under the fourth and over the fifth just like that then you take the first one and put it underneath the second one then over the third under the fourth and over the fifth and this way you continue all the way down you take the first one Put it underneath the second one, over the next, under the next, and over the final one. And again, grab the first one, always grab the first one. Then underneath the next, over, under, and finally over. Grab the first one, underneath the next one. And then over, under, over. Once you got it, it's actually quite easy. So just continue all the way to the bottom. When you're all the way at the bottom, you need to connect these ends as well. So you take a new thread on the needle and then you secure the yarn on the bottom of this braided headband 
and then you make a seam, just a light seam all across, just to keep the ends where they're supposed to be. So they don't go anywhere. Just make sure you got a little bit of all three, all five ends, sorry. Didn't get the last one. That's it. So now you take the pins off. And then you have the front side up and you fold it over. So you have the back side out. And then we sew it together. So you have this um, part at the end. This will never fit right with all five straps. So we put this on top of the other one. And then we sew it together. And again, make sure you got a little bit, a little bit of all strings, all five, on this side and all five on this side, so it won't go anywhere. First, I just make it lightly across, so I get it just like how I want it, and then I make it beautiful at the end. So I just check the front side if the edges matches. We need to have a, a nice edge on top, and we need to have these strings braided. So you may just need to pull it over like this before you sew it together. And when you're done, you weave in your ends and then you cut the yarn. Then you can fold it over, have the right side out and you have your cute little headband. That's it. I hope you found the tutorial easy to follow. If you did, please press thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope to see you again soon. Bye!